Here at home, one man is, a, is dead and another is recovering at the hospital. And traffic is still backed up tonight on Highway 99. 23 ABC's Crystal Figueroa is live near Olive Drive exit where crews have spent the last nine hours in a recovery operation. Crystal. Troy, it all started at about 2.30 this afternoon when a big rig driver and his passenger were traveling on southbound 99 near Olive Drive when for unknown reasons that driver veered off of the freeway and ended up crashing in this area right behind me into the canal. Tonight you can still see some of the debris left behind from this crash. Uh, we heard a large crash and we went over there and cut the gate open and and uh, went over there and uh, there was a guy in the water, the driver apparently, and he kept yelling for his partner. Mike Smalden was working on the other side of the freeway when the accident happened and rushed over to help. We got him out of the water and leaned him up against the canal and then paramedics took over. He says the driver, who has not yet been identified, was incoherent, but he kept asking about his driving partner. First responders found the trailer partially submerged in the canal. A dive team was brought in, but they couldn't find anyone under the murky water. The semi truck actually hit the bank, collapsed the side of the bank, which put concrete and actually destroyed the, the whole front of the truck. You can't even make out what, uh, the front of the vehicle. A tow truck secured the trailer while crews made a more extensive search under the load of canned food that the trailer was hauling. Uh, it was just crazy. It, it was a load of refried beans, and there was beans everywhere, and, and there was no truck left cab was gone it was then that emergency crew spotted a male victim in the middle of the crushed cabin and there was a lot of a lot of people trying to help dig through the rubbish but it was just it was a full 40,000 pound load of beans you couldn't get through to to anything under there and back out here live, you can still see some of the debris left from this accident earlier today. I spoke with uh, uh, first responders, and they say anywhere between 200 to 300 gallons of fuel had the potential of leaking into this canal. They say they have set up booms to uh, mitigate the, the kind of danger that could be into this water. They say that they do have that under control. But again, I can tell you just standing out here, it smells like fuel. It smells like, like gasoline. And I can tell you it's not the exhaust from the freeway. Uh, overhead, but again, uh, emergency crews say they do have this situation as far as uh, the contaminants in the water under control. Reporting live, I'm Crystal Figueroa, 23 ABC.